The Kardashian-Jenner sisters get a lot of hate for supposedly having no skills. You don't sing, you don't dance, you don't have any, any talent. Kendall Jenner is also here. I'm not exactly sure what she does. But they've built a business empire with revenue coming not just from their TV show, but also fashion and makeup lines, mobile apps, games and endorsements. Kim Kardashian's net worth is 85 million. She made 52.5 million last year. They've stretched 15 minutes of fame into nearly a decade and have figured out how to monetize their every move. How? Well, they understand something about marketing that most companies don't. Advertising surrounds us, and as a consequence, we've become experts at tuning it out. People are very, very good at recognizing the source and the persuasive intent. That's why the majority of advertising is really not successful. Communications professor Jennifer Lewick says that businesses trying to figure out how to make money online should take a lesson from the Kardashians. Most celebrity Twitter feeds are overtly promotional. They're full of corporate-looking ads and tweets that are clearly written by PR handlers. Compare that to Kim Kardashian's feed. She whines about jet lag and asks her followers whether she should embarrass her husband. I have hired a new glam team. It is definitely a dynamic that comes very close to a perceived friendship, but it's completely one-sided. Communication scholars call this phenomenon parasocial interaction. The researchers who coined the term in the mid-1950s use it to describe the feeling of friendship and closeness that people felt with TV personalities who they'd never met. Oh, yeah! It's almost like, you know, when you're at a concert and somebody is singing and that person is looking into the audience and you feel like they're, they're looking at you and they're singing at you. A reality show like Keeping Up With The Kardashians is fertile ground for the beginnings of a parasocial relationship. And Kim and her sisters nurture it by speaking to their fans on social media like their friends. Hey guys, it's been so long. How pretty are those? Oh, oh. And it probably doesn't hurt that that includes a fair amount of nudity. So when Kim and her sisters hawk products, which they do all the time, it doesn't feel like an advertisement. Oh, I'm obsessed with the app Jet Smarter. It feels like a recommendation from a friend, a richer, better looking friend who's getting paid thousands of dollars to tweet about swimsuits and teeth whitening. The Kardashians use every digital tool imaginable to make millions of people feel like they know them and make millions of dollars for themselves in the process. And you don't have to approve of them or even like them to acknowledge that that's a talent. Thanks so much for watching. I am channeling my inner Kim Kardashian to bring you this video's end credits as a selfie video. And I wanna leave you with what we might call a moment of zen or Kardashian zen. Thanks for watching. Nude selfies till I die.